Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. So let's discuss uh, today all about the contra number two. Okay, the smart way of deploying the contra trade. So before watching this video, I would recommend you to watch the video what I made yesterday. That was like contra number one. Okay, using my real trade, showing you like how to deploy the contra trade. And even this is one of the contra trade, dear friends. This is also one of the contra trade, right? Hybrid trader siren fly with contra and view pairs. So whenever you see this more of contra, so this is the best way in terms of trapping the market. Wrong to say trapping the market is, yes. uh, you know, right? If we go for the standard uh, strategies, you know, the mar because of the market volatility and everything, right? So market will trap us. So how about we trapping the market? There is no 100% holy grail, but still uh, by just deploying the contra trades, we can just trap the market within our zone. So let me show you one example. Okay, but watch this video friends, watch this video, uh, what I have made yesterday, contra number 1. So let me directly take you, same example, I am taking the same example, <clears throat> this is my trade, uh, which has basically 452 rupees for loss and 12,000 is profit and we all know yesterday when the market was standing somewhere here, I thought maybe market will come down, but we all know market is supreme, uh, it does, basically it does uh, whatever uh, i mean it is against us basically so when we think market will go up market will come down and this happens with almost all the retailers everyone have that question how can this be possible and it it, it, it is and it will be running like that okay, whenever we go for long it will come down whenever we go for short it will go up okay so now this is my trade <coughs> so already i've discussed about this trade in yesterday's video so please watch uh, this video friends i'm not i'm not going to repeat okay we all know how to make this trade zero. We all know how to make this trade zero even if the market is going upside. <clears throat> I've shown you that adjustment. Now, how to deploy the contra trade? So let's say the, if the market goes up, so I'll end up losing 452. But if the market comes down like maybe or break even is 1.85, uh, which is possible because we have three days. Today we are on Tuesday. <clears throat> so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for Nifty to come down like 1.8%, which is feasible basically. But just in case if the Nifty keeps going up, we have discussed one adjustment. So today I'm going to uh, tell you how to deploy the contract. So what I'll do, uh, I'll take you to <coughs> strategy builder. Okay. Now <coughs> you have to just keep an eye on this thing. Okay. So where is the mar so market stands at 17? If you look at this vertical line, 17,300. So I'll go to one new tab. So uh, I'll try to deploy a call ratio spread. <coughs> I'll try to deploy a call ratio spread. So what I'll do, I'll show you one example. I'll buy this. What is 129? Half of 129 would be somewhere like uh, 65. Okay, so do not have 65. Let me go for this 77 rupees. Sell one and what is the half of 77? That would come to close to maybe let's say uh, 43. Okay, so this is my ratio spread. Okay, so what is the correlation between this trade and this trade? We all know if the market, see, check the break even, check your break even. We are at minus 2, so almost we are at the break even. Let me show you by scrolling, by zooming it out. Okay, so this is the problem. At times, okay, right. So now, if the market expires from the current position till 1.62 percent, this thing you will get almost 4 percent profit. Okay, you almost you get up to 4% profit. Wrong to say 4% profit from year till year it is at minimum. This surface is your maximum and from this point till this you have the minimum. Okay, all right. One second, yeah, this is true. So almost you are at your break even. Just in case if the uh, Nifty makes like almost like let's say 0.5% upside expires like you will get 4,570. Somewhere from this was from 17,400 and 17,500, you will get your maximum profit. Okay. Now, if Nifty expires here, then what will happen to this trade? We already discussed how to get with minimum 2% or 3% or 4% in this trade. So, I am not going to repeat that. So, net net, what is happening is we are profit in this trade and also we will be in profit. Maybe we will not get this 20, 32%. Yes. If Nifty falls by, uh, let's say like 2.5%, uh, so definitely we will be like in profit. But what loss we will be getting here? Right, just 430. Try to understand, friends. Try to understand. See, don't watch it as a movie. 
try to put your thought process this is all about the contract rate basically now if someone doesn't want to give this clause uh, on the ratio split i have the solution also but now if someone is worried saying that nifty is bullish it can go like 2% or 1.8 this is split. so what we can do is like just to increase the range print just to increase this range keep an eye on this 1.6 too what i will do i'll just i'll just increase 50 50 strike that's it i'll just go out of the money by 50 points just keep an eye on this thing okay from 300 i'll make it to 350 450 and 550 that's it so now your range has automatically increased from 1.6 it has come to 1.8 if, if someone is like okay with this thing right for the next three days bank nifty will expire uh, <clears throat> within like 1.8 percent so then you go if you need more safety also you can go but check your loss your loss is 645 in case if the uh, nifty falls so i have a solution for this thing also so let me show you right so if someone is not comfortable giving this 645 also i have a solution okay 645 divided by 50 is it by nifty lot size okay 12 so what you have to do is like you have to cover this 12 points that's it because you're giving that extra debit you have to cover 13 rupees either you cover from call side or else you cover from put side so what i'll do i'll show you by covering from put side okay what i'll do wherever i have 12 rupees <coughs> okay this one see we do not have 12 so i'll just try to sell this thing that's it the moment you sell the 14 rupees so now check your trade you have four percent of uh, maximum profit okay almost like 5000 profit and you have a safety of almost how much is this right 2.96 <coughs> okay 2.96 is your safety <coughs> if someone thinks bank nifty can make three percent downside movement also so let, let me check right what will app see if nifty expires like at 2.96 you will be getting almost 55 rupees is your uh, minimum what do we say loss okay if if nifty expires at 2.90 so what this will give you right 2.90 see this will give you almost 9548 what my point so just just check the correlation end of the day guys end of the day we need to come up with zero loss see whenever i deploy any trade i basically look out at coming z at zero loss if market gives a profit it will give you like anything but my initial focus is to mitigate the loss here i'm not looking for profit i'm just trying to trap the market yes if, if market makes it two percent down or 2.9 percent right i'll be getting 7500 or 8000 if market makes a downside moment of 3.2 percent i'll be getting 12,000 profit yesterday we have discussed about the nifty base as a contract rate but today we are discussing about a call ratio spread just because majority of you guys have told me just to make this contract rate and even you know right i've started with this is just a contract rate number two i can show you three four five six seven i mean yes i mean it's 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 up to you if you have that patience if you have that uh, uh, ability to digest the video i'll, I'll make a uh, number of videos so i'm just showing you one idea one thought process i'm not i'm not telling you to just go with ratio speed you can also deploy a butterfly i'll show you in contra number three with my existing trade this is my existing trade right still i have the potential of 5000 profit my loss is zero and we all know if the market keeps going up in this we all know how to make this trade zero if you want me to show one example what i'll do okay see 17000 right i'll just try to <coughs> exit 17000 and what will happen see that's it if i if even if i buy if i do this right my my loss of 400 has gone and at least i am in in, in profit this will be like my brokerage charges okay if i go up not basically up yeah if i roll down see this is this is the way my profit will increasing now my profit has come to 548 this is only one of the adjustments what i'm showing my profit has come to 698 from minus 400 okay this will give me some profit and also this will also give me some profit it basically yeah but still it has a potential of four percent Okay, and this is not the only one adjustment friends this is not the only one adjustment so i can show you like five to six adjustments you know right i'm in an experimental kind of phase so i'm just doing more of experiments and experiments in terms of scaling before i scale up my capital so i wanted to do somewhat experiment so this is my contra trade two so you got my point right this is the contra see nothing rocket science there is not a rocket science just you have to open up your thought process i'm not telling you follow this thing and and the good thing is like friends you have to manage these trades independently 
you can mix it up see i'll show you like i'll, I'll try to mix this up within this tray what will happen okay so what i've taken 17 350 14 uh, 17 I'll, i'll try to mix it up 17 350 right i've sold this and then 450 i believe sorry bought uh, 450 and then what is that uh, 17 550 i'll show you 17 550 i've sold and then maybe i might have sold this thing see if i mix up my trade <laughs> it doesn't look good though this looks good yes your loss is 397 overall your loss is 397 only but if you trade this as an independent trade if you trade this as an independent so when, when i say independent uncheck this thing right you have to trade this as an independent trade and you have to trade this as an independent trade because things will be easy for you if you combine everything it will be like tedious for you to do the adjustments yes i can manage this because i've done this many times so what i basically do is like i trade them as an independent let's say let's say the market is coming down let's say the market is coming slowly down okay how to increase the profit we all know so what is what is the adjustment of ratio split if you have seen my end to end uh, series on the ratio split you will get to know so my profit is only 55 so what i'll try to do i'll just try to roll down this 550 17 550 until 17 450 see if i roll down one if the market is falling if the market is falling like 1% we have a safety of almost how much 3% almost we have a safety of 3% and we have a safety of almost 2% on the upside if market comes here we will get with 4% profit if market is coming down what we have to do is like i'm showing you like just roll down by 50 from 1750 come to 17500 your profit has increased what was your original profit your original profit was only 55 the moment you roll down so what are you trying to do when you roll down your book is meaning you have to exit this with the profit and you have to sell one more 1750 you, you the, the capital will remain same so now your profit has increased and even if you roll down to one more thing so this will typically become your 1 is to 2 basically yeah, because just because we have 400 or else or else I'll, i'll try to do one thing i'll just increase this to 2 so this is how your trade will become right you have a profit of 1423 which is almost still a 1% friends still a 1% profit within 3 days with a safety of almost 3.12% now people will ask right you you are doing the simulation you will get this from is yes, there will be a plus or minus so you have to adjust this so let me say if this becomes uh, 45 I'm not sure whether this works or not, right? But still, see, but still, you have a profit. I mean, I'm not sure whether this will become forty-five dollars because if this change, this will also change. This will also change. Okay, let me reset. <coughs> this is the way you need to. Again, if you roll down, right, you will be like increasing your profit. So this is this is this will become very aggressive. But I've just given you a template. Friend. That's it. I've given you a template. Basically, again, I'll get back to the normal trade. This is how your trade will look. If that goes up, still you have the potential to get four. 4% profit right this is only one of the adjustment what i've shown you just just go back to my youtube channel you have the end to end ratio spread adjustments you'll find like 10 to 15 videos okay so now i'll make one more video right with with the subject saying contra uh, uh, contra 3 wherein we'll see Uh, if we can deploy another trade it can be your see i'll tell you one thing right okay uh, rather rather than me talking in this video right i'll make one more video so let's try it for butterfly so the the basic purpose of making this video is not to show you right uh, the uh, ratio spread or the butterfly it's the end of the day it's basically to trap the market we have to just give that room to the market you come either this side or you go this side in the if you stay in the middle i'll be not giving you a single penny so we all know how to make this zero 397 making this zero is not a big deal okay making this zero is not a big deal so what did i say see even if you roll down that's it if you roll down this is what and we have many other objections so what 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 i mean to say is like if market goes here i'll get with good profit if market stays in the between i'll not give a single penny to market if market falls down i'll i'll, I'll have almost like 10000 of profit now If this is exposed yes now you have to do that management basically <clears throat> you have to give more range what it that's where the thought process comes into picture don't blindly deploy a call ratio spread like this like so why did i deploy the call ratio spread i took more safety here because i'll i'll tell you right i'll show you one okay let me show you see this is this was our original so i have given see you have to give more range 
though your loss is only 663 we can make this zero any given day because we have three more days the market will start at uh, nine o'clock we are doing this video on when we are doing this on tuesday so we have tuesday one day we have wednesday we have thursday there are a lot of adjustments but the the more loss you give while deploying the trade you will get more safety got it see you have more safety and your profit has increased five percent of profit you have to just ensure that you have to think about this unlimited loss so what will happen if the market caps up by 2.17 percent and in case if you are combining this this trade with this trade and if you are having your nifty bees also just imagine right when i say this thing right this video i'm talking about this video right in this video we have discussed about the nifty bees we have discussed about the nifty bees so if you are combining your nifty bees with a call ratio spread so let's say your call ratio spread market opens here like maybe maybe let's say this one right maybe market opens like uh or two percent so your loss will be like three three percent or three thousand but you know right this blue line will become see it, it at times it's very difficult for me to tell because this blue line see i'll show you one thing check this blue line maybe today if the market caps up by 1.90 percent your loss is 2932 what will happen tomorrow at the same 1.90 check this blue line right at 1.90 your loss is only now 1609 let me let me simulate the market to next day thursday <coughs> right your loss will be thursday i'll make it to 915 because that's that's see right 915 if the market opens 1.90 you will be in profit 1900 we have seen three different examples because this is all about the blue line check this blue line friends right if i go one day the blue line will become steep downside if i take you to the current day the blue line see now okay let me show you one example let me show you this thing if market makes a move of 1.26 percent i'll be at only 65 rupees profit on today tuesday if i go to wednesday at 1.26 percent my profit is 1642 on the t plus zero day the next day thursday <coughs> my profit will be almost 4670 and end of the day thursday at 3 to 3 uh, 30 what will be your profit we all know you will be getting maximum profit because the blue line is already covered you will be getting 6838 okay i think we have discussed more right uh, if you did not understand the video pause the video and watch one more time all right thank you